Using this isn't the worst option, but it still kind of sucks. Fact. Look, when people flee from VMware for obvious reasons, most of them land on VirtualBox. And yeah, it's an upgrade in the same way replacing a flat tire with a donut gets you moving. It's good, except it sucks. But the performance, mid. The interface, clunky. USB pass-through, a gamble. And GPU acceleration, what's that? And don't even try to run anything complex without watching your host OS beg for mercy. So yeah, VirtualBox is better than VMware, but that's a low bar. Now, if you actually care about performance, flexibility, or not hating your life, there are better options, like Proxmox, which is seriously powerful, free, and doesn't suck. Especially for home labs, enterprise setups, whatever. It runs smooth, supports clusters, ZFS, containers, VMs, all of it. It has a clean web UI, full control, and rock solid stability. Honestly, it's what VMware wishes it could have been. Proxmox is the GOAT, simple as that. There are a ton of other solid alternatives that I mentioned in a previous video, so please go check those out. You'll thank me later.